Okay. Perfectly elastic, perfectly inelastic. Let's let's see where we go with this. Perfectly inelastic. Oopsie. Inelastic. Are we doing an example? Well, we gotta lay out some formulas. So I need an issue. Yeah. So we've got it in words. I want to put it in math. If we're talking about a perfectly inelastic collision, really what we're talking about is two objects that start off, maybe they're both in motion. They don't have to be, but let's say that they are just for argument's sake. I've got mass A and I've got mass B, and maybe they're moving. Maybe on a collision course with one another, I could say that this is VA and this is VB. After a little while, they hit one another, but for whatever reason, let's, let's claim that mass A had a larger momentum than mass B. What direction would the system that sticks together be going in? Yeah, I see people pointing in the correct direction. It would be going in this direction. Maybe that velocity arrow isn't to scale, but it would be going in that direction. If mass A had more momentum than mass B. And we could say that now it would be a system, A, B, stuck together. So I want to get to the, the actual math side of this. If I'm talking about a conservation of momentum argument, what I'd say is that P is equal to P prime, because we said earlier in words that momentum is always conserved. Momentum is always going to be conserved. Then we talked about energy, about energy loss. That's different. Okay? Momentum is always going to be conserved. So the way I could, could write this out for momentum conservation is that MA VA plus MB VB is equal to, well, MA VA primed plus MB VB primed. But in this case, I could say let VA, well, what can I say about VA VB primed? Same, same. So I'm just going to rename them V, rename them v primed because it's the final velocity of the system. And I could say, look, MA VA, and this is exactly what we did with the train cars last day. Only I maybe, oh no, I shouldn't have written VA primed. It's just V primed now. MB V primed. I could factor the V primed out of that binomial on the right hand side, and I'd be left with MA VA plus MB VB equals MA plus MB, so the mass of the whole system, times V primed. That's a nice final equation for conservation of momentum when the two objects stick together or when I claim that they're perfectly inelastic. Potato, potato. Oh, I'm not changing it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, the, the next little bit, if they, if they stick together, there's going to be some energy loss. So I, I want to propose, and maybe all the energy is lost, but let's just propose that there, there could be some energy loss. So I'm going to say that the energy before for the system, total kinetic energy for the before for the system, would be equal to the total kinetic energy after, the syst after for the system. But if there's energy loss, I'd have to say, look, this energy afterwards is probably going to be less than this energy here. So I can't say that they're really equal. So it would have to be the total kinetic energy after the collision for the system plus whatever energy gets lost. Is that reasonable? Yes. I could take the energy lost over to the other side, and I could make the argument that the energy before minus the energy lost is equal to the total energy afterwards. It's the same thing, though. It's just a different way of thinking about it, maybe. But I think this kind of works. So I could plug it in like this. I could plug in my EK values like this. I could say EK before is really EKA plus EKB, which is EKA primed plus EKB primed plus energy lost. EK equals EK primed plus E lost. Energy lost. Yeah. Okay. 
And now, do you, do you want to go through the process of seeing it with all the one half mv squareds and all that in there? No. I want to just make this point. EKA primed and EKB prime represent two masses that are stuck together now. So instead of saying this, I could just say EK for the system primed, right? So I could say one half MVA squared plus one half MVB squared equals, now this is the kinetic energy for the whole system that's in that brackets. So I could say one half MA plus MB, because it's stuck together, times V primed squared plus energy lost. Is there anything bigger the reason why EKA prime plus EKB prime has to be in brackets? Oh, just because I was trying to set the stage for the fact that the masses are stuck together. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no mathematical reason. Just uh, thinking the problem out kind of reason. Okay. It doesn't change the outcome. Okay, so if I want to put a magical box around this one, I would say that guy there, nice magical box. So what exactly is this magical box for? This magical box talks about the energy, kinetic energy before a collision for an inelastic system okay. compared to the energy after. And if you were able to figure out the kinetic energy before, which is this stuff here, and you were able to figure out the energy after, then I could do a subtraction to figure out what the energy loss is. Maybe we could do some, uh, some percent efficiency calculations or something like that. But just the background theory.